Hey everyone, so I'm back with another shopping vlog, but this time we aren't on the hunt for fabric. Instead, I headed to my local Barnes & Noble to pick up a couple of things, and it was a trip I was really excited about as I haven't been to the bookstore in at least a year. I usually shop my books digitally or secondhand, so I was missing this big, beautiful place. I decided since it's hard to go out these days, I would take you all with me and enjoy it together. <laughs>
done so I am back home from the bookstore and I wanted to do just a little small haul to wrap it up and just show you what I got. Um, the reason I filmed this video is because I just was really excited to go to Barnes & Noble. It's been a super long time since I went and I just wanted to take y'all with me just to look and see what all was new and what all had changed. And it's a lot. The whole layout of the store is different. It was really exciting. Um, I didn't get too much. Uh, one thing I really wanted but didn't get that you saw me pick up was the My Hero Academia keychain blind bags. I wanted to get one so bad but they were $7 a piece and I don't have good luck with blind bags so I, I refrained. <laughs> so I only got two things but two very exciting things for me so I want to show you what I grabbed. So up first. I got this really beautiful journal. It is a hardcover with this blue fabric to it with gold constellation and star embellishments and it says it is written in the stars. Um, I have other journals and stuff but I really wanted something that wasn't a bullet journal, wasn't something that needed to be decorative, it's just something that I could just write in absentmindedly and just express my thoughts or my ideas or anything like that anything and everything really um, but I wanted something hardcover that would kind of like hold up and I really like this one because it's quite thick so there's a lot of pages in here that I can fill up they're quite simple um, with just the subject and date there at the top and they're this really pretty off-white color so they're very pleasing to look at to the eye and it is it's just a simple book but it's very pretty and I'm excited to start filling it up now the second and last thing I got is probably the most exciting. It's the reason I actually went to the store in the first place. It is the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone novel, but this is the one. It just came out. It's designed and illustrated by artists Mina Lima. Hopefully I'm saying that right. When I saw this popping up on my feed everywhere, I knew I had to get this. Surprisingly, I don't own any of the Harry Potter books. I used to own them long, long ago in my youth. I don't really know what happened to them, and I haven't had a lot of spare room to store the series. I don't have the ideal bookcase, you could say. But when I saw this, I knew, I knew I had to have it. It's so gorgeous. I wanted to support the artists that spent so much time and effort illustrating and making this happen and all of the others involved, except for JK Rowling. We do not support her. Um, but yeah, this, I'm impressed. Like, I didn't look up any spoilers online because I wanted to be able to go through the book. And as you can see, it's quite thick, quite beefy. Um, and I wanted to see everything for myself. So I don't really know what all's in here but I know it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. So as you can see, the cover is this beautiful red with lots of really gorgeous gold detailing. Up here in the left corner, we have the Gryffindor. In the upper right, we have our Ravenclaw. Lower left, our Hufflepuff. And lower right, our Slytherin. And then the main picture just features our trio, Hogwarts Castle, an owl floating around up here. And it's just, I mean, it's like this canvas texture. And it's so, so nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it just so we can look at it. I do think when I'm not reading it, I will probably keep it in this plastic just so it stays safe, at least for now. You know how some people like to peel the plastic off of brand new things right away. I am very hesitant and I like to um, keep the plastic on as long as possible. But we're gonna take it out just to get a little quick look. So it comes with this paper. This is just a paper of the back of the book, I believe. Let me flip it over. Okay, so as you can see, the back of the book has the synopsis of Harry Potter. This paper that came on the back of it like that kind of shows that it's a little bit more of like a 3D element, paper craft, illustrated version of the book. And it says here, the first book in the Harry Potter series, fully illustrated in brilliant color and featuring eight exclusive interactive elements, including a fold-out Hogwarts letter and more. So, super fun, super excited. Um, it is a little bit pricey, as you can see there at the bottom, but for what you're getting, honestly, I think it's worth it. Just depends on if you're a big, big Harry Potter fan, if you're a big, big book lover, um, if you want to invest in something like this. But I do plan on getting 
you know, all the others as well and having that be the whole collection. So we'll have to see how the price varies because if the first book was 37 US dollars, I can only imagine what the final book that's like double the size at least, <laughs> how much that's going to cost. Um, so I don't really want to do any kind of spoilers for anyone who may be looking to get it, but we are just going to go ahead and open, just take a little look real quick. So the inner page is this deep rich blue and it has little wizards flying around, I'm assuming little Harry's, chasing tiny little golden snitches, not sure how well you can see that, and just really pretty little stars. And then the first title page is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and there's this beautiful crest here that has all four of the house mascots on it. And then right here, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, there's a phoenix feather quill designed and illustrated by Mina Lima. So again, I'm not going to show off too much of it. Nobody likes book spoilers, um, but it is so, so beautiful and I'm very excited to get into it and see all the fun interactives and all the fun um, illustrations and stuff as I'm reading through the book itself. So the last thing I want to show y'all real quick, and I didn't know this was something that you could get, so Barnes & Noble actually was giving out these posters that go along with the book. And I was not sure really what it would be, but look at this. This is so gorgeous, is it not? So down here, the title, if you can kind of see, is this, it's like a dark orange, burnt orange color, but it's metallic. It's gorgeous. And I know I keep using that word, but there's just no better word to describe it. And this is just all the different shops of Diagon Alley. And I mean, I'm just blown away. The illustrations are so colorful. They're so playful. And I didn't expect like a poster, but I love it. I got a frame for it actually. So I need to cut the little bit off, a little bit off the top maybe a tiny bit off the bottom so it will fit in the frame. Um, and then I'm just gonna hang it up on my wall because this is so fun and so pretty. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna do the framing on camera because I guess I don't really think y'all would be that interested in it. But anyway, that is my Barnes & Noble haul. <laughs> my Barnes & Noble shopping vlog and my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was just a simple little fun thing, but I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!